Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the free launcher plugin, which is the perfect plugin for anyone launching a new product, website, or service. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to get that set up on your site. Now, the first thing to do is to install the plugin. And to do this, you want to go to your WordPress dashboard, and then on the left-hand side, go to plugins, and then click add new. Now from here, you want to just do a search here for launcher and then hit return. And you're gonna see you've got launcher coming through the maintenance mode by my theme shop showing up. And here you can just click install now and WordPress is going to download the plugin onto your site. And all you need to do now is click activate plugin and you've now got the plugin activated. We still need to set up the plugin though and we can do that by going to settings and then clicking on launcher. This is gonna take us to the admin page for launcher. The first thing to notice is the enable launcher page box here. This checkbox is going to turn on or off the launcher. So by default it is turned off and ticking this will enable the uh, launcher page. And once it's on, only administrators are going to be able to access the front end of the site. So whilst you're logged in as an administrator, you're still going to be able to see your site, but everyone else is going to be shown the launcher page. And you'll see here you've got a lot of options here to set up the launch page just how you want it. You're gonna see you've got a page title. You can upload a favicon just by clicking here and then dragging and dropping a favicon there. You can add a meta description. You can choose whether to have no index on. You've got custom CSS code, header code or footer code you might use for things such as Google Analytics tracking. Next tab has templates, and here you'll see you have the three launcher templates to choose from. You've got this standard launcher, you've got retro, and you've got rocket. Now you can preview all three of these at mythemeshop.com. I'm going to preview this using the launcher theme, and I'll show you the other two templates later on. So if we continue looking through the tabs, you see we've got a countdown timer, and we can choose when to count down to. So I'm just gonna set this to uh, the 1st of January, 2016, and you can set the time and the minute. So that's at midnight there at the start of the new year. And if you tick this box, then the uh, launcher page is going to be automatically disabled once the countdown reaches zero. You've also got your subscribe form, and you can set this up here using a number of different services such as FeedBurner, MailChimp, Aweber, GetResponse, Campaign Monitor, and Mad Mimi. So for FeedBurner, if you just wanted to sign people up to your FeedBurner subscription, then you could just add in your username here and then choose the first name label, last name. And you've got options for email label, button label, and success message as well. It's a similar process for any of the email marketing services such as MailChimp. Um, you just need to get an API key and click on this link in order to find out how to do that. Select your list from this dropdown and then you've got those same options there. I'm going to leave mine with FeedBurner though. I can also add my Twitter feed and I can just add in my Twitter username here. Now I need to follow this link and once you're logged into Twitter, you can generate an API key, which you're going to need in order to grab your latest tweet. And you just need to follow this link and then copy out your API key that you generate, your API secret, access token and access token secret. So I'm just gonna add in a dummy one here, but you will need to log into your Twitter account and then go to that link and then copy and paste these four codes here. You can also set your tweet caching time. Um, so this is how frequently the Twitter is going to refresh your latest tweets. You can see by default this is set to 24 hours, but if you tweet more frequently, you might want to change it to 12, for example. You've also got your contact form. You can choose where to send emails to the first name, email, message, and send message, all that standard there. And finally, you've also got social links. So here you can add in things such as your Facebook URL and you just type this in here as well as your Twitter and you can just type in your URLs here and you can add Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn and so on. Um, I'm just going to add a dummy for all of these in order to get that just showing up to show you what that looks like. And once you're done you can click save. And if I now load up my site in an incognito window, then this is going to get rid of my login. And so I'll be able to see the uh, launcher page as it would 
display to a user as I mentioned if as I'm logged in as an administrator I'm still going to see the main site so loading up in incognito is a great way to quickly preview this without having to log out and you can see here we've got um, this message here a logo a countdown timer we've got the email sign up form about us Twitter we haven't uh, added in our Twitter API keys, but this would display your latest tweets here. And then you've got contact us and um, some information here about how to contact. Now you might be wondering how to customize that information there. And to do that, we just need to go to launcher up the top and then click on edit. Now this is going to take us to the launcher template editor. And this is a fantastically powerful tool that you can use to edit the appearance of the launcher template live on your site. Now you're gonna see here, you've got options to change just about every single aspect of the theme here of the template. You can uh, use this button up the top to display or hide certain sections, as well as choosing whether to turn on or off the images or indeed add your own images. And you can just drag and drop or choose something from your media library here so if I wanted to choose one of these wallpapers I've already got uploaded, I just need to click insert and that's going to upload there. And again, with the logo, I can show or hide and I just need to click that and, and then from there I can upload my own logo. Here I can change any of the text just by clicking on this paintbrush icon and I can just select the text here and type it in as I'd like. And I can also change the color of the text here if I've got something to better suit my background. I just need to click the tick box when I'm done. I can display or hide the countdown timer as well as change the appearance of it just by clicking there and selecting a color again. And we've got the same options up here for the email newsletter. I can change the content of the text as well as the design and the color. And it's the same for all of these. You just need to click on this paintbrush icon in order to change the color and click on text in order to change the text. You've got this about us section and then your Twitter settings here. So if I wanted to uh, change any of this text, I just need to click on the paintbrush. But if I wanted to hide the whole thing, I just click on that eye there and that's going to hide the whole section. Finally, we've got the contact section and you'll see this is where we've got the contact details that we set up in the settings a moment ago. And you can click on the paintbrush in order to change the color and the text as with the rest of it. And you can also display or hide any of these individually as well. Once you're done making those changes, you just need to go back to your WordPress dashboard and those changes are going to be saved automatically and will now automatically display on your site. So if we just head over to this uh, version of our site here and refresh, we're gonna see we've lost the middle section there, but we've got the rest of those changes we've made. And that's how you set up the launcher templates. You've got a couple of different ones here. You've got retro as well. You just need to select that and click save. And here you'll need to enable it again and then save those changes as well. And you'll see you've got those uh, same options here. So you can select your countdown timer, um, I'll put this to January the 1st again. But you'll see you haven't got the subscribe form, Twitter feed or contact form options enabled because this template doesn't have those features available to it. But you can add your social links and I'll just add dummy links in order to show you what this looks like. As always, save your changes and then once again we just need to enable that and then click save. If you go to launcher and then edit then you're gonna see this is what the site will look like and you can edit any of these as you could before. So you can change your background image as well as displaying or hiding any of these sections as well as clicking to edit any of this text. As before, once you're done, you will find those changes saved automatically and as well as previewing, you can load up an incognito window in order to check this. So, so if I refresh, then we're gonna see we've got this different template displaying here. One final template to show you, um, click on templates again, it's this rocket template. And you'll see that uh, again, we can have the countdown timer, um, but this time we've got a subscribe form again, so I can just add in my details here, as well as Twitter feed and social links. So again, one final time, I'll just add these in here in order to show you what that looks like. 
Um, I'm going to save those changes and of course um, check that that is enabled. If I again go to edit on the launcher, and you'll see this is what this template looks like. And you can see you can change any of this text here, as well as change the background images or display and hide any of these. All of it is um, exactly the same, regardless of which one you're using. And once you're done, um, then head back to the dashboard. And if we refresh our site, then we're going to see we've got this final template displaying here. If you are logged in as an admin though, I'll just show you what that looks like here. And you can see you're able to access the site as normal. So you can get on with building your site whilst visitors are enticed into signing up to finding out what you've got coming for them in the future. So that's really all there is to it. That's how you use Launcher, which is a fantastic plugin. It's free, available on mythemeshop.com. If you have any queries, then don't hesitate to get in contact with our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.